And it's based on The Mask of Anarchy by Percy Shelley, which is where that came from. Um, this, this mic lead really is short, isn't it? Um, as I lay asleep, as I lay slumped upon my couch, uh, scrambling through tobacco pouch, there came a voice upon the air that sent a vision of out there. I saw greed upon the run, he had a mask like Cameron. Very smooth he looked jet spastic, with his forehead made of plastic. <laughs> From his smile so fixed and fickle, there escaped an oily trickle, as with his fist so fast and hard, he crowned his pudgy cheeks with lard. Next came falsehood, and his eyes were yellow like Vince Cable's ties. In his arms a white lamb trembled, he wrung its neck as he dissembled. Thronged with lackeys and fat cats wearing artful dodger hats with Osborne's gleam upon his eye, cronyism next rode by. And many more infractions played this pleonectic masquerade, all dressed in suits like brazen gangsters or lawyers, priests and merchant bankers. Last, apathy, with empty sockets, eye put on and hands in pockets, slouching like some languid goth arrived upon a three-toed sloth and scrawled upon his sullen head a faded tattoo could be read in childish handwriting it said I'd rather be at home in bed A crowd arrived in state-best trousers, Nike shoes and Primark blouses gathered there all al fresco laden down with bags from Tesco with cringing cheers and servile scrapes like backward kids or maybe apes they hailed their monarch apathy with sycophantic fl flattery Mighty Lord, the day is thine to thee, we give our life and time. Since we don't want to use our brains, we've paved the way for you to reign. Give us wants instead of passions, tell us of the latest fashions, turn us into passive clones with credit cards and payday loans, PS3s and mobile phones. Ah, we the people now rejoice, exulting you with single voice, apathy to thee we bow. Can we go watch Big Brother now? <laughs> Then apathy, like one who's drugged, could barely move, so simply shrugged and with one flick of weary digit dismissed the crowd, the pageant with it. Those foul personifications went to London, to the part of Parliament, where with carefree strident whistles they swapped the schools for strident missiles. They flogged the forest, bought the press, raised a tax to line their nest, and then one final sickly jest dismantled all the NHS. The crowd cared not when they were told that all the hospitals were sold. It seems like effort to make their starting fights. Midsummer murders on tonight. Oh, oh, let it be. Just uh, let it lie. Just leave it be. Too complex for the likes of me. I'm sure those politicians know just what they're doing. Or, I hope so. I voted for that nice man Clegg. He'd never let me starve or beg. He swore to fight for liberty. Now, let's just have a cup of tea. Forget the politics and worry. Our microwave was all a curry with processed food inside their bellies, just poultry fare like on their tellies. They chained themselves to hollow screens, were hypnotized by hollow dreams. Sedated on that couch from Sweden, they slowly snoozed away their freedoms. And as they died in living rooms, two remained out in the gloom. One was hope, she looked forlorn as if somehow her heart were torn. The other, wisdom, shook his head and in a weary voice he said, I really don't know what to do. They are many. We are few. At times like this, one might get jaded. And with that, <laughs> the vision faded. I'm oh, Blandy Bennett. Thanks very much. <laughs>